I think the, the whole program is um, it's really important um, because just swimming with dolphins is it would be fantastic, but, but especially for children like Tilly, that backup, that input from the experts and the therapy and the workouts and um, that sort of individual attention um, had a huge impact on Tilly. Um, and um, although it made the days very, very busy, um, it, was, it was still sort of all about her and she was able to do so much because they knew how to get her to do things. Um, and, uh, and that expertise was, was invaluable, really. I think it's just amazing what the staff do during that week. Um, they're obviously very knowledgeable at what they do. And they, uh, just, just the way that it's organised and, and the safety aspects and the therapy, um, you instantly know that they know what they're doing uh, and you have complete faith in, in how they do it. There wasn't anything that, that, that gave us cause for concern at all. I think it is definitely worth trying um, it, it, simply because it's a holiday that, that dis handicapped disabled children can't normally do I mean there's you're often really limited where you can take these children so to be able to go somewhere where they can do something that special and do it safely and do it without any judgment um, and they're not phased by any behaviors or any problems at all um, is, is great Uh, but it was lovely. Um, I mean, they were all really, really nice people, um, and so different. So, I mean, we didn't even learn what people did for a living by the end of the week, but it didn't matter um, because we were all there, there for the same reasons, and everyone was just having a great time. And I don't think there was a crossword spoken the whole week, which is amazing considering there were what 45 people all <laughs> working together for five days, six days, um, and they were all just really lovely, and everybody was very upbeat, which was nice. All the children change with their trip. I mean, you can't be the same person after an experience like this. It's just you can't. But I think a lot of the long-term changes that happen with these children, especially the kids I know that come from my practice in the Atlanta area, I've seen things happen six months, even a year later. And their teachers will come up and say, did you know that such and such um, did something at school that was totally different or the parents will tell me that, that they'll try eating new foods or that they like certain kinds of music that they didn't like before. So they, they look at it as a changing point in their lives um, as, as an individual as well as a family and that's our whole goal I guess is to, is to bring them to another level. Some of the children, how they look at you before they're like inquisitive and like, what are you all about? And then after they come out from the ocean and have been had their encounters, there's like stars and, and, and fireworks going off in their eyes. They're just so excited. And it's, they're, they're changed. They're changed for life. And their parents feed off of that and then their brothers and sisters do, and then it, it becomes a whole family um, um, experience. People ask, often ask me, uh, do dolphins help children with disabilities or do dolphins help humans? Um, I think humans or children with disabilities help themselves with dolphins. The dolphin doesn't really intend or is not really planning on helping a child with disability even though he may be aware of the disability. But the child, by, by being in contact with the dolphin, is, uh, is going to, to help himself because of this deep emotion that uh, is generated uh, when you have a, a dolphin encounter. In those nine years, I've definitely uh, met some children that came out of this experience with uh, enriched, enriched and uh, also much more sure of themselves their um, self-confidence had improved, their uh, self-image had improved because they had achieved something that they had always wanted to do. And they had also achieved something that few people actually do in their lives. 
most of the families that are coming to us have unrealistic expectations because they have tried most everything. They have tried traditional medicine. Uh, now they're turning towards alternative medicine. They're turning towards uh, the magic aspect <laughs> or the magical thought. And uh, it is their last resort. So of course they have some unrealistic expectations. And we always try to uh, uh, to set the record straight, to uh, put things in perspective for them uh, so that they're not disappointed. And in our literature, we make sure to, uh, to express those thoughts and to address those, uh, those issues so that uh, they don't come to us expecting their child to, uh, to go back home totally healed. We run the business. We've been uh, uh, working with Excellence in Therapy probably since the late 80s. And, uh, uh, have about 13 people that work with us and uh, we do this twice a year come down to Panama City Beach to work with kids people tend to feel that they're by themselves you know they, they come home with a with a sickly child and and they're alone they're on an island and coming here uh, with families from all diverse backgrounds, uh, from different countries. Sometimes they can barely understand each other. To watch them meld into the best friends they've ever had, it's, uh, it's amazing. And what they find is that they're not alone, and that there are a lot of people out there that really, really want the best for them and their children. And um, uh, to me, that's almost the best part of the therapy is to see the parents relaxed and to enjoy themselves, sometimes for the first time in a long time. And uh, um, it's, you know, we, we talk about the kids and all that, but we really, the parents get a good dose of, of, uh, of uh, I guess, self-reliance that they are parents, they are doing the best they can, and that uh, there are people out there that really want to help them and work with them and not against them. <laughs> what Denny has been able to bring and what Pam has brought is people from all points of the compass come for this brief period to work with kids. And it doesn't matter where, who, where the kid comes from. They could be the wealthiest individual from New York City or they could be here on a scholarship from the from the countryside of Alabama or somewhere in the world. But for a brief moment, we have people from Europe, Japan, North America, you know, uh, come here to, with the one purpose of working with these kids to give them the most unique experience that most people don't enjoy. The rest of us, the typical people. Most typical people will never swim with a captive dolphin. I mean, even though there's programs all over, most people will never do that. Our families and their kids, in their wildest dreams, would they think they'd be put in a tank with a big animal. But then to put them on a boat, take them out into the Gulf, put them in a, in a life jacket, in a floaty, take them out there and have wild dolphins swim around them. If you told that to somebody on the street, that, oh, in a year your daughter will be doing that, they'd look at you and think you were nuts and what the nice thing about it is is that the kids are really smart if you're not into it if you're just doing going through the motions they'll know they know and they'll turn off they won't like it I mean they won't bond but if if you are here and you're sincere you don't have to be uh, uh, you know, an expert, but you have to care. And that in itself is expertise because to take a uh, child you don't know, a family you don't know, and to quickly bond with them, have a good time, and make the week seem like it happened in a day, not an eternity, because you're having so much fun, therein lies the expertise. And Denny's group and, and Denny's vision mixed with Pam's passion and vision for what she wants to see happen with these kids 
and then wonderful people from all over. So stop this night so strong.